by crafting friends. Welcome to my podcast. My name's Barbara Razavikas and this is Bondi Crafter. It's been an interesting week. You can see I've got new specs. <laughs> Everything was starting to go a bit blurry, close up. I went to have um, my test and they said my um, long distance was perfect, it's getting longer and my short distance is getting shorter. <laughs> so I've got my new multifocals. Um, this week I've been, I've been um, knitting socks. This is my second sock, so I'm getting on with it. And I made a big breakthrough in my sock knitting. For me it's a breakthrough. <laughs> um, I wanted my stitches to lean the right way. You know it is, how it is when you're casting two stitches off and you want them to lean either left or right? Well, my right facing um, stitches were okay, but my left were facing right. <laughs> and now it's corrected. And, you know, I just can't believe it. And it was such a simple thing to do. And it will make a lot of difference to my lace knitting. So, uh, very happy with that. And this is the one sock I've got ready done. Love it. It's so exciting knitting with stri- uh, self-striping yarn. Yeah. More exciting than knitting with plain yarn. And making um, patterns on it. I love self-striping yarn. Yeah. I think I might uh, take a leap into it. Further on the episode, we'll look at that. I've done a bit of um, crafting. Hope to go out and about today and uh, see what's happening out there. It's a beautiful day. It's the 17th of August. Um, I'm thinking that uh, my birthday's in three weeks, that is September. I'm hoping to do that whole week of uh, getting up really early. Six. Well, I have to get up at six o'clock. Get up at six thirty. Go over to the edge of the um, coast and the ocean, Pacific Ocean, and um, video every morning for about ten minutes. Maybe not that long. Maybe five minutes. Just the sun coming up. I thought that would be a fab birthday present for myself. So yeah, hoping to do that. I just thought of that. Well, I've been thinking about it for. A, day or two but I just thought you know this is a good idea for my birthday that's a big birthday so yeah I'm going to do that so let's have a look at what I've been doing this week my podcast is about primarily about knitting my knitting projects as a left-handed knitter um quilting which is my passion I sometimes pray um make episodes primarily on quilting, um, quilting techniques, if you're interested in quilting, hand quilting, lap quilting, big stitch quilting, that's me. (laughs) Um, And I do other crafts too. Um, I love beading. And also out and about. So if you're interested in seeing um, Sydney, Sydney suburbs, I live on the coast, so a lot of waves and clouds. In my podcast. So. Started knitting a pair of socks in this beautiful self striping yarn. I haven't had real self striping yarn before, and I just wanted to see. And every every row is a surprise, really. It's It's a sock yarn, and this is how it is in the ball. And there's spots which come out like this part here. So neat. I thought of doing a pattern in it, but um, these are just plain vanilla socks. So... I just want to keep knitting and knitting and knitting the um, the leg part because 
so surprising. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how we go with this. It would take me a few days to make a pair of socks. The needles that I'm knitting on are these little tiny nine inch circulars that I really love for making socks because you don't get any ladders or it's just one continuous thing and it's so easy to do. I think they're chigus. They're very nice anyway and the, what I like about them is the needle part is just a really short one so going around a tight circle is pretty easy with it. So Let's see how we go with this. Hope I finish a pair. <laughs> I'm making a pair of socks. This is my favourite pattern of all time. It's Kay Linton's vanilla sock pattern. Um, when I first started making socks, I watched her step-by-step -step video videos on YouTube, and that was so helpful. And I just love this pattern now can do anything with it you can add patterns cables the heel pattern is so good and she um, explained every step step by step thank you so much Kay for doing that I'm left-handed and I just need uh, a visual learner and I just needed you know to watch you do it and I was set and this is my second sock it is um matching up pretty well so I started making the sock yesterday I made this one this one yesterday and today I'm up to there so <laughs> nearly there this is a wool that I'm using it is beautiful Barocca sock 75% super wool, 25% nylon, so they should be nice hard wearing socks. I've done a 2x2 two two rib at the top and then just, um, just purling the rest of the way. I'm using Shigu. Um, needles. I like these from um, doing socks with. This is 2.75 for the top and three millimeter for the rest of it. <laughs> They're easy to um, knit with. I don't get any ladders which is excellent. I just love this self-striping yarn. I think it's beautiful. This is the first time I've used it. I think it turned out really nice. I do have another ball that I got at the same time, and I had to I had to search for it on the internet. But it's this color, so it should be lovely. A pair of lovely socks also. We went out of focus there for a bit. Yeah, fun with socks. Just a bit on the needles that I use. I do use Knit Pro too. So they're both. I think they're both, you know, about the same. Um... To knit with I like them both they both have metal they both have nice strings yeah I like them both knit pro and shiku for socks I've just made a breakthrough with my socks um, going down the left side of the gusset I have always um, on the first um, cast off on the right hand side cast off like this um, you know when you slip two stitches together and cast off one well this is how it was looking 
until I want to do an experiment because I wanted my stitches leaning this way and not that way. So I decided just to have a go and it's worked. Look at the top three stitches. No more leaning the wrong way. So happy about that. This is the other side of oh, just after going across the foot, my cast offs and they all lean the right way going towards the heel. So, wow, <laughs> I'm so happy. With knitting for me, um, being a left-handed knitter and a mirror image knitter, I've always had a bit of trouble getting my getting my stitches to face the right way when they're cast off, if you know what I mean, slanting the right way. So a way, always a way, like when you're sewing, have your um, seams facing away. So I wanted my stitches to face away, and now I've realised how to do it. And... At this age, I hope I can knit a few more socks, you know, just to um, have that work. It, all, it will also work when I'm doing lace work, which is so good and so exciting for me. Kitty. You're sitting on my socks. Hey, sweet kitty. No. Just helping. You okay? Kitty? You okay? This is another project I have cast on. So it's a jigsaw shawl. Jigsaw shawl. Beautiful. I will um, take a photo of it so it's not reversed. And this is how far I've gotten so far. Love it. It's beautiful. The um, stitches all facing the right way. Quite happy with it. And to start off with, the um, it's got three graphs. So the first graph was very easy for me to follow. The second and the third. And then it comes to the repeat on the red line. And Reading graphs is a learning curve for me, I've got to say. So yeah, I'm learning and um, I'm going to make this shawl because I've got two balls of this beautiful um, worsted weight um, yarn. So beautiful, variegated blues, greens, browns, cream, black and that beautiful forest green. So yeah, I'm going to use two balls and I'm going to make it bigger than the pattern so should be fun I'm I'm not really a fast knitter I wish I was a bit faster but I've got three projects on them on the needles at the moment that one sock that I'll finish today hopefully just got the toes to do my shawl my jigsaw shawl which will take me a few weeks I imagine hopefully and I'm also um Getting on with my uh, laced vest, which I'm very happy about. So, knitting is coming along. I'm going to also do, probably be in the next um, podcast, I'm going to do some more English paper piecing. But I'm going to do a Pooh Bear um, English paper piece um, project. It should be fun. And the little bears are so beautiful. So... Hope you join me for that one. Oh, I've got to lean around my flowers.
It's Sunday the 14th of August and today, it's a nice sunny day, um, I'm going to my first knitting group in Cogra, New South Wales. I'm hoping that it will be fun and I'll find some friends, some knitting friends. I don't have any knitting uh, friends in the flesh at the moment, so here's hoping. signing off for this week friends I'd like to thank all my subscribers my old friends my new friends my new subscribers and if you're thinking of subscribing to my channel please click the like and subscribe helping it helping my channel grow so happy so fun and so I hope what I share is helpful to everyone all parts thank you bye me signing off